shouted to the now noisy crowd. He closed the door, but he could still hear their pleas for help. He could not forget the beaten expressions on those who had traveled so far from the census. Little children cried, and tired mothers tried to comfort them, but there was no comfort. Finally, the streets were quiet, but emptiness of heart did not leave the innkeeper. He closed his eyes to sleep, but sleep would not come. Why are you so restless? I wish I could have helped more. I wish I could have helped more people, but everyone was close. What else could I have done? Our room is barely large enough for our family. You did all that you could. The census will soon be over, that they will go back to their room. <coughs> did I just hear a knock at the door? It's not here. My name is Joseph, and this is my wife, Mary. We travel far. As you can see, she is with a child. Please, don't you have any room? Any room at all? I'm sorry, we have no more room. Please, we need some place to stay. Can, don't you have anywhere that we can stay? Don't turn us away now. We travel too far just to make the census. All I have is a stable. You can find a corner which first hay and rest. Bless you. Slowly, I can't wait to find the stable. I am exhausted. I know, you, you traveled so far. But we had to make it to the center. We had no choice. Look, that is right there. Finally, some rest. In the stable, they found a quiet corner. The donkey ate heartily of the, fre of the fresh hay scattered on the floor. Special baby will be here tonight. I'm gonna line the manger with fresh hay. Baby came, they will need something. What 
can you do? I'll, I'll take them some fresh water. You can make some extra cakes for breakfast so I can make them something to eat. I must do something. I'll do that as long as it makes you feel better. Later, the innkeeper walked down to the stable. Instead of hearing animal sounds inside, he heard silence except Mary's sweet singing. The cattle were quiet, the sheep were quiet, almost in reverence. He had never witnessed anything like that. Thank you. You know, we're so thirsty and hungry. Um, I wish I could have done more, but I had no more room. Uh, anyway, I'm glad you are alright. That sure is a fine looking boy who will grow up to be someone important. Thank you, I know he will. Amen. Sometime later, the innkeeper. The innkeeper noticed strange men coming in town. With the census over, he couldn't understand why they had come to Bethlehem. They were dressed in fine robes and were carrying gifts. Being a curious man, he decided to find out. Will he find a place in your heart today? 